Is this table satisfactory for madame? It's nice, yes. Here is um, our menu, and special today is Cocoa Pops. Oh, yes, OK, yes, please, this one. I'll have Cocoa Pops as well. Excuse me, sir, have you made a reservation? No. Sorry, we're full. What do you mean you're full? It's full with pretend people. Well, of course they are pretend people. It's my pretend restaurant. And I can do what I like now. I'm going to have to ask you to leave, sir. We have no boys' rules. I'm sorry, sir, we have no boys' And we have a no hair like girls' rules. Well, that means you've got hair like a girl. Uh, but, but I am a girl. Okay, whoa, so whoa, 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 whoa. Nice okay. Now, Ben. Oh, okay, yeah. hey, hey, hey. No. Okay. You can eat with me. Hmm? You are my date. We will both have the uh, cocoa pops. All right, then. Thank you, Ben, for taking me to a nice restaurant. Hello, Ben. Ben, why you not talk to me? Because it's a date and I'm playing hard to get. Jerry told Chandler that's what girls like. Do you watch Friends? Yes. Who is your favourite character? Your Coco Pops, madame. Thank you. And yours. That's not how you treat a customer. You treat a customer with respect. That's the worst service I've ever had. Well, if you had a restaurant, yours wouldn't be any You're better. You're a rubber. No, no, OK, OK, time out. Peace, peace, love. It was very nice food. Thank you very much. My, my date and I must leave, so please, may we have the bill? Here's your bill. It was rubbish service. OK, here is your money. I'm sorry, we don't accept pretend money. Oh. It's OK. My date. He'll pay. You're right, sweetheart. They voted for Ross's class of rent. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Did he pay them more money than you? No, he didn't give them any money. He's just, he's popular. Oh, no, that's not right. Once you've sold your vote, you should stick to it. When are we going to have this family chat about money? Well, we could have it now, couldn't we? We could have a family meeting over tea. Karen, come and sit down. Mum, can you, can you guarantee that we're Oi! definitely not going to... Oh. Can you guarantee we're definitely not going to lose the house? It's not like that. We're just a bit short of money at the moment. We can't even afford a cup of tea. What do you mean? Well, one day, me and Mummy were walking down the street and there was a man sitting on the pavement with his dog, with a very nice dog, actually, and he asked, do you have enough money for a cup of tea? And Mum said no. Yeah, but I didn't exactly mean... We looked thirsty. I'm sure he was thirsty. Ben, can no, you... Ben, you don't understand. Mum was lying so that she didn't have to give the man money. No, I wasn't lying. Then why exactly. did you tell him we couldn't? So you were lying. What if he was really, really poor? Yeah. She lies and she murders mice. Karen, I think we need to set the mouse thing, you know, to one side. All we mean is that we just have to be a bit more careful with money at the yes. moment. Yes, and I'm looking for another job. Oh. And you lot, you can all help with the little things like, um, Hi, you know, eating all your food. Look at this, oh, fantastic. Yeah, and um, switching off all the lights. No, 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 it's tomorrow you go for your flu jab. Do you remember? Because I wrote it on the wall. What do you mean you cleaned the wall? I saw Ben leave his light on this morning. Yes, Karen, it's not good to tell on people all that the time. That is not yes, true. Yesterday you called me some bad words. You called me a ninny. Stop. And he called me an idiot. Karen. And he called me a, a mother fudger. No. It's not a mother fudger, it's a mother. Ben, enough. Anyway, what is a mother fudger? We don't need to it's know. It's a mother that's made of fudge and you can eat them. Hmm. Is it a swear word? Doesn't matter. No. Can I call Ben it? No, you, no, you can't. Ow! Oh. What? They kicked me! No, I did ben. not! You look ben. Ow! Ben. Ben. Right, Ben, no, I did come not. in. Swap with Jake. Come on. Ben. Sit here, please. Ben. 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 Someone has pinched Between me and you'll me kill Jake. you! Yeah, but you need to worry about that, Dad. No, because she's not Iranian. Well, you're a big no. No, Dad, Dad, she is not Iranian. Dad, Dr. Higginbottom is not Iranian. Right? Anyway, there's no point turning off the lights. It's too late to stop global warming now. Joseph, your generation to completely ruin the world for our generation. Does she? Well, then, you can turn the lights off so we don't have to move to Swansea. So we could lose the house. No, 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 no. I know how 
how we can save money. Right. By not buying broccoli. Well, actually, broccoli isn't that expensive. How much are we getting? We don't need it. I don't it. know exactly how I much. Can you do this? I don't care. I'm trying to have a serious conversation with Dad. That means you can't. And oh, shut even up. Karen can do that. And she's half your shut up. Oh, and shut up. Oh, I don't Jake, care. Jake, come and sit here. No, that leaves Ben and Karen together. Jake, you sit here. Right, Ben. Idiot. Son, bloody musical chairs. Mum, you said bloody. Why is it always me who has to move? Oh, You're the one who changed me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Is the family meeting over then? It is. And we are never having another one. Okay, big fella, you sit there. TJ next to me. Oh, Can no. No, this is no good. Kelly, um, we seem to be in a room on our own. Yeah, we had a bit of an overspill, so we put you in here. Yeah, but we. Here you go, young lady. We like eating Jake. where the action is, you know, amongst lots of people, don't we? No, this is great. And we are full downstairs. Lovely. Come on, Hugh Grant. You come and sit across from me. Uh, let's start with a bottle of red, honey. Choose something nice. Actually, I don't think we'll be... I'll have a Bloody Mary. Oh, this is great, isn't it? This is just great. Why don't, why don't I... Jake, quick reminder. Try looking at her face. Women like that. They're not so keen on being looked at like some slab of meat. That goes for you as well. Now, guys, I just want to say a few words. Now, I don't need to be a therapist to see there's an elephant in this room. No. A hidden source of tension between two people who love each other. But I like shooting elephants. And we all know there's been history between these sisters. Can we forget it? No, we can't. You can't shoot elephants. Can we acknowledge it? Yes, we can. Can we move on? Yes, we can. Why does he keep repeating, can yes, we can? And we're positive. Yes, we can. Of course we can. Taylor Jean, can we be one big, loving family? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Why are we clapping? Do we want something? Thank you, Brick. Yes, thank you, Brick. That was, um, that was special. Mm, that's fantastic. So, where is Taylor Jean's real mum? Karen knows not the time. Hey, yeah, it's cool, Sue. So kids need answers. And the answer, Karen, is that sadly there are some mothers so damaging that kids prosper best without them. Brick was amazing. He just wouldn't stop fighting for his kids. Uh, wouldn't it? It was you coming on board that clinched it with the judge, honey. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Uh, Taylor Jean's so much happier. Oh, hi, yes. Now she doesn't have to go to Tucson at weekends. I'm so much yes. happier. Well, yes. Pete was naked, but he'd forgotten that Maisie was staying overnight. So... Well, I'm sorry she's having trouble sleeping, but it... Well, yes, he is quite hairy. But at least he won't come as a shock to her in later life, will it? No, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Bye. Sue? Please. Another bottle of red, honey. Oh, that's the one I Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we all are at San Diego Zoo. In fact, it was Misty's giraffe poem that won us the trip. Lovely. Didn't you used to think that children got in the way of being a free spirit? God, no. What spirits could be freer than the spirits of kids? There's such wonderful energy in a big family. I know. It's great. Well, yeah, I mean, you've got quite a big family, Sue, but when there's seven of you, believe me, that is a big family. So what should we all have for pudding? Here we all are in Hawaii. Angie's the most phenomenal mother. Both interactively and as a role model. She just never stops giving. She's helped Misty overcome her food issues. Is that Misty making the big splash in the swimming pool? That's June. Misty had issues with under-eating. The bluffy pie looks very tasty. Fact, Brick's ex put her under so much gastric stress, the poor child had to have so many tests. Did she have to have her camera put up her bottom? Because that's what happened to Dad. Turned out I have diverticular disease. Very mildly. Quite mildly. It's one of those syndromes which is present in quite a few people his age. Well, it's not a syndrome, it's a disease. It's not a disease like leprosy, though. No, no, but it is more serious than a syndrome. 15. Tadja, 16, Gangler, ben? 17, Pink Bazooka. Ben, fella, that, that behaviour's inappropriate. 
So bored of that word. So, when you replaced her real mum, what did you do with her real mum? Karen, stop it. It's not... But it's not fair. None of my questions get answered. And you still haven't got back to me about the hitting. Hitting? Well, yes, they said that they talked to me about when I can hit this boy at well, school. Well, obviously, you can't. We said that. No, you didn't. You, you said I could hit in a ladylike way. It's never right to hit. Not for children. Well, then how am I supposed to stop someone from constantly stealing my sausage rolls? You get a court order, stopping them from coming within 50 miles. Why don't you kids play a game of consequences or something? Good idea, you Grant. Actually, I don't sound much like you, Grant. Well, you do a bit. You got that uh, charming uh, ooh, uh, ooh. thing going on. It's... No, I haven't. No, well, you do. You're doing it now. It's, it's charming. You should get Brick to do a session with Karen. But he didn't. didn't need it. You'd do that, wouldn't you? Sure, honey. They're family. She's fine. He does this great game with the kids when they play hide and seek, only they have to try and find themselves. Find themselves? Yeah. The beezy. You just look down and there you are. No, Karen, uh, sometimes you try and find something inside you that you didn't know was there. Like a tapeworm? No, not like that. It's, or it's... like a spoon that you swallow by mistake or... No, it's, uh, she's very little, isn't she? It's, it, we've all got dark places inside our heads. Well, of course we have. It's entirely dark. Unless we put, like, a window or we saw the top of our head off. Karen. And that wouldn't be very good, because then we'd die eventually. Well, it's like if you were in a dark room and, uh, and you put a plant in a dark room and it never had any sunlight, it would grow all twisted and tangled and it wouldn't be good. It so... wouldn't grow at all, it would die. Well, it might grow a tiny bit. Have you ever eaten if there was a, a tadpole a for a bit? slither of light. Yes. Have you have you ever... Have you ever put fish food in your dad's tea? Yeah. Have you ever taken a seagull into a hotel bedroom? Have you ever run away from home and got as far as New Mexico? Yeah. I think you'll find that actually there are hidden feelings inside all of us that we and we have to acknowledge. You have to give these feelings a name. We need to say, Bob, uh, or if, say, we, we call these feelings, Bob, get back. And, Why and you Bob? See the, well, you, when if, you can call it anything, like okay. Steve or... Or a girl's name, like Lucy. Well, why'd you have to call it Bob? Well, you could say, Lucy, get... It doesn't work for me. Is, I have... Is, is I this have... your job, to, to just say stuff like this? Trust me, it's 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 very useful. Well, I don't trust you. I, because you're just talking nonsense. And if you'll just listen to me for two seconds... Well, it's not something a child necessarily understands, but it is, it is but something... But I... I... I, I do understand what you're saying. It's just it doesn't make any sense because... Well, I think I'm I am not entirely talking. sure your technique's going to work with Karen. She sure has a lot of defences. Welcome to English repression. I really think we should order some, uh, some pudding uh, and some coffee because we've had quite a lot of wine now. What does repression mean? Uh, excuse me. That's what everyone in England does, Ben. They don't let out the anger that's inside them. My mum lets out her anger. Yeah, well... She kicked you up the... Ben! And she let out lots of anger when she found out that Daddy had kissed a woman which isn't her. I'll... just give you a couple more minutes to decide. You did what? How do you know about that? I heard you and Dad talking about it. He promises that you're There's wedding. No, no, no. Oh, it's not my fault. It doesn't matter. Dad is strong and strong. Strong. Yeah, and choice. Everybody calm down. It was just a stupid incident that happened. Guys. And Pete is not having an affair, if that's what you're thinking. Stuff happens. You know, we're animals dressed up in clothes pretending not to be animals. Sometimes we forget to pretend. Look. Stuff has not happened, and I think that we should all move on. And I, for one, am moving to the ladies. I'll, I'll just go and see if she's OK. Oh, no, no, actually, Andrew, I don't think that's a... Very good idea. There you go, no bullets. So, Hugh Grant, thought you were one of these pussy-whipped English guys. I'm sorry? I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. We're mad. Seven. As men, we are evolutionarily hardwired to nail as many women as we can. You'll get better at it. And then, you won't get caught. What? Awesome. Everything okay? Yep. So where's Angela? She's still in the toilet. Right, but you haven't... So, any decisions about pudding? 
Why don't we just skip pudding and get the bill? Uh, I'll get that, honey. No, that's kind, but uh, let's split it. Everything all right? Yes. That's me. No, I said let's split it. Uh, you're on teacher's wages. I'll pay prof. I'd really rather you didn't. Oh, ouch. Some low self-esteem issues here. That's for you, good looker. Yeah, don't play the therapist with me. Pete. Pete's one of those guys who thinks that charlatans become psychotherapists. Yeah, they're the Serbian war criminals. Pete, Whoa, just... Hugh Grant. And if you call me Hugh Grant one more time, I'm going to take your platinum visa card and I'm going to shove it right up your... <laughs> I want my mum. Oh, it's all right, sweetie. No, I want my real mum. Oh, put back in a tick. <laughs>